Well, hello everyone here to show you that the Matthews color coloring activity right here is I would hand you right here uh, The example right here is like a box it is and and basically you know kind of like what I was you know talking about About you know, say you know backup uh, you know for backup you know, say your know, software like that uh, talking about you know, for backup copies You know, assume for most files it is but basically though as you see right here is I would hand you right here as a you say a, like an example right here of a box and and uh, most of the time that I was thinking about if I were to draw a similar shape like which calls like a box or a square or anything like that that you know maybe like give it like say a door or a window or something like that to where if it's supposed to represent like which says a house or something like that but if we were to I, I remember whenever I was a kid that uh, that you know if I were to see something like this uh, you know maybe in a magazine or something like that is to kind of draw out the outline it's like uh, you know on paper if it's going to be like on line paper or any kind of construction paper it is to try to draw out the outline it is if we were to try to draw something like this on like Illustrator or if it's a you know Photoshop or something like that we could be uh, working with like let me say a number of tools it is uh, such as um, you know besides a uh, the manic lasso tool or if it's a direct select tool or if it's a the you know the selections tool or the hand tool or something like that and then uh, along with uh, you say that you know, see that you know, there's also the you know the parallel to say tool it is and along with that the blog spot and along with the you know the brush tool and you know all those other colors it is on a you know Photoshop and Illustrator it is along with say with the if most of us have used a you know InDesign but but anyway um but uh, if most of us uh, have tried that uh, you know these types of uh, uh, programs for related to like the computer compared to what you can actually do on uh, the on you know on paper it is uh, that um, basically if you were to try to like what's called you know come up with like a say a design and the way I would think about which is say with the design though with the design that that what exactly was the and, you know does a design usually mean it means by it could be like say you know different you know types of uh, meanings it is you know such as that the, you know, maybe like you know the value of a uh, and, uh, and along with uh, you know for what you're doing of uh, uh, with the, the shapes and then uh, it, you know if, if you were to actually draw like what you call it like a design such as you know, say a rectangular shape it is and if you were to add a, you know, some line designs you say in the center it is it's like just talking about like between positive and negative it is and on your hand it uh, talk about you know give it a number of space it is like if you have a yeah you know, I'll go ahead and show you right here like a, like the amount of space of course I arranged you know for these lines right here and um from from the color that uh, I would hand add right here and uh most of the time that uh if we were to be doing work like this like on a you know a program you know such as Illustrator it is it uh more likely that you know it may be just a little bit about as different but uh, on your hand too that knowing about uh, working with the different tools though that uh that basically that uh with at the most part that you have about these similar colors right here but on your hand too like uh if you would actually get on illustrator then it, you would actually uh, you know, like select the, the colors you say from the control from the control panel it is but basically though that uh, if we would actually do our homework it is it's like if we were to go ahead and launch you know, like uh, you know photoshop or illustrator or any type of you know program it is uh, and then they actually draw something uh, you know talking about it's like for design it is and, and studying about the colors though but you have right here is like say just like the square and the rectangle and the card and then the long circle it is and then trying to like what you call you know create that something that that uses you know these similar shapes it is and then on your hand too that um tell anybody here that uh, a lot of time I'm like you know from in the past, you know, couple of years, I think ever since I was a kid, that my favorite color, of course, was blue. But, uh, but I already hand that too. That knowing about with say with color though, that if we would actually you know draw the color, it is like a draw like what you call is a. Uh, if I would actually draw you know the shadow, it, I'll just say if this was like a, like a you know, this you know you know object you know, represent it's like a, for like a say a work of art you know such as uh, maybe a. a say a diagram or like an example of a house or something like that that like you said so good is to draw like what you call like a shadow right here and uh, with this shadow that uh, you have right there is like uh, see the outline right here a blue and then uh, you'll put like let's say a little bit of gray right there it's like a mixture of gray it is but uh, but on our hand that the uh, like with light and then uh, 
along with any you know, other colors it is and anybody that may say that uh, I'm like yeah that, that is gold really considered a, a color as well because on your hand too besides orange and red and then uh, purple you know those type of colors it is is uh, gold really considered a color also and uh, the way I would think about I'm like uh, that you know I guess gold would be like what you call it's like a mixture I guess of, uh, of yellow and orange or something like that and all maybe a little bit of red as well but uh, but you know, the, the, the different colors are more likely that we can maybe experiment around with in like what you call like for InDesign and Illustrator it is is basically that you have right here is like a, a shape that uh, I would hand you like right here is this like this uh, example right here of like what you call is like a house and and it like the typical shape and um, knowing about a lot of times if we were to be working on an assignment, a lot of times there may be something that we hate or, you know, something that we don't like at all. And, of course, uh, one of the reasons that could be that because it's not working the way you want it to work. And we could get frustrated over that, that the way it you know, works is that, that knowing about that, that if we were to be working with a small piece of, on an assignment, it is such as trying to work with something you know, using the select tool and trying to select, you know, one of the, of the layers or something like that, you know, in one of these patterns. And then, like, uh, with the with the work, you say, with the layer or if it's the pages or something like that. And then uh, something goes wrong and then you got to go back and, you know, undo it or, you know, change something. You know, whichever it is. And uh, a lot of times, though, to anybody that may say, I get frustrated about it. But on the other hand, too, that um, is to work with right here is, uh, is the color, say, with orange, though. That uh, really with the a lot of times with the, with the colors though that um, about working with between light and then dark you know color values it is and uh, basically though that uh, the way I would say about it is that uh, that yeah that uh, knowing about you know, the the types of, of colors and then what you're working with is like if there's a, a type of color that that tends to change from brightness to darkness it is and a lot of times that you know for that typical reason. Is that uh, if it changes value uh, due to the fact because of uh, that the, if it's not around that uh, you know very much light that the light you know begins to dim it is that the more likely that the, there's a chance that it could change you know that the, the lighter can get darker and then maybe the, the lighter that the, the color can get lighter. But other than that, that um, that you have right here is these colors though, and a lot of times. That uh, whenever I was using uh, you know, the program, so that uh, a lot of times it's just like that, yeah, that, that a lot of people will probably think about black. You know, black really don't look good because that, <laughs> I'm like, yeah, if anybody were to pick a favorite color, then it could be pink or orange or green or maybe a purple or, you know, if there's a color called, you know, Mazgias or something like that, you know, for my, you know, or something like that. <laughs> my Mazgias, yeah. <laughs> And um, I can maybe go ahead and draw right here as a square, like for Mazagaz. You know, if there, there's a color, yeah, you know, if there's a color by name by by Mazagaz, if there's a if there's a color by name of like what you call for Mazagaz, you know, for Mazagaz, it is you know Mazagaz, you know, color that it could be like a you know kind of contain a you know say a combination of I say of a, a blue and then a Go ahead, you know, add like a little bit of black, say in the background it is for my Mazagaz and for for Mazagaz, and then uh, go ahead and uh, add a little bit of red right here for the outline right there. I don't know if uh, Mazagaz is is actually a a color that we may see like a uh, what you call on like uh, you know Illustrator it is, but the, on your hand too that uh, knowing about that, uh, I'll go ahead and and you know draw here as a little example right. I'm like uh, talking about. If it could contain a, a mixture of um, blue, um, blue and black. Uh, see here, blue and black, and then uh, and then uh, so you know, sky blue, uh, blue and black. Um, and then uh, it could be like what you call sea, uh, sea blue or sky blue or something like that. Uh, you know, Malico, uh, Malico blue or something. You see for fine. Uh, says right here that um, I'm trying to think what color this is but uh, I'll just say that the uh, you know sky blue I guess would be like would say as an example but um, for sky blue but so far for my you know, Mazagaz it is he's like the color for Mazagaz but anyway um like it for what matches on the color wheel it is 
for what matches on the color wheel that we may think that uh, well it's like for the color wheel that color wheel that contain that see uh, at least um, you know four or five colors but then of course if you mix them if you mix a certain kind and then that you know usually that uh, it makes it to uh, and you know you look like what you call it's like a you know, ad between uh, what you call your know, abstract it makes it look like maybe it's doing a number of things you know the shape could not maybe look like it's doing a number of things if you were to like what you call you know, maybe change the brightness and then uh, on the other hand too that I can give it like what you call a different you know, pattern or something like that but uh, anyway for what you call for this you know, Mazda gauze you know type color it is I'm like exactly I'm like you know what colors do you think it represent you know like maybe with like the gold color it is you know for for Mazda gauze and uh, and if there's a color you know called Mazda gauze you know, could contain a, what you call between a variety of black and blue and uh, you know black and blue and let's just say pink you know black and blue and pink or something like that if it could contain you know those colors it is and um, that knowing about you know, the types of, of detail that you know put into like what you call it's like a type of art design it is for like we say besides the you know, Mazda gauze but, but anyway um that most, a lot of times though that if we were to think about you know, the types of colors that create like what you call you know, these particular parts it's like between positive and negative colors it is such as you know the, the types of uh, of, uh, of colors that create like what you call like maybe that the pink or if it's the uh, the the forest green or something like that 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 knowing about that, that a lot of times that uh, all it takes about you know maybe adjusting a few of the settings on you know, say on the control panel it is but on your hand too that knowing about like for my opinion knowing about um with um you see for the colors though that uh knowing about between space and then uh well, it's like leaving it's like between this positive and negative space it is i uh, know about you know shapes and and lines that we're working with here of uh, knowing about between you know the mazagas it is at the knowing about if we were to be working like it, let's just say at the at this box were to be measured by uh you know three uh you know maybe three point at uh, point 12 or something like that you know inches or something like that if most of us have had any practice with like you know programs you know such as uh, you know Illustrator or if it's a Photoshop or InDesign or if there's a program called the you know that you know Inco you know you know Incomedia you know Incomedia you know, in endorsement or something like that that you know Incomedia or you know any programs like that that more likely that you're know, working with like what you call a variety of, of different shapes and and sizes and and then uh, you're working with the different colors and then the lines it is and basically that you know you're basically uh, you say what you create in something it is that that you know this may look like just like what you call it's like a shape right here but then on your hand too that the the way we kind of think about it is to know about that uh, that with uh, with these different you know corners and different uh, shape you know these lines and stuff like that if we would actually connect them together is if they actually represent like what you call it's like an actual shape that more likely that could be created and then if you want to go ahead and give it a name it is and you give it a game besides you say the mazagaz color it is if you want to give it like I say a particular name and uh if most of us you'll know about you know, like uh, talking about you're know, saving their work to an actual file it is you know on if it's a, you know, on a PC or if it's a Mac or something like that, but um, but other than that, like talking about what here, it's like it talking about with a uh, my my favorite uh, so like with my favorite color, you know, it's like for blue it is, and and the way I would think about, I'm like yeah, if I had a particular name for this type of shape, you know, contain like what you call a variety, the triangle, and of course there's a square, and then maybe you say the line it is, but um, I I I can go ahead and say right here, give this this uh, you know type of design right here as a shape and like I can besides the ma you know, the Mazda guys I can call it the, uh, the square you know maybe that something that's a uh, you know I am um, thinking about you know and you know I, I can go ahead and just say you know the the, the Talanta the, the Talanta K uh, I can go ahead and call it you know the, the Talanta K the Talanta K square something like that the Talanta K square 
I'm like, yeah, I may change the name. I'm like, yeah, so far as, you know, with this, I'm like talking about, you know, these shapes. You know, this, I'll just say, you know, that for the Telonica, you know, there could be other names, of course, for their meanings about why we give it a specific name, specific name, but on the other hand, too, talk about with the colors, uh, knowing about, you know, the type of, uh, of, you know, what do they usually mean, of knowing about, they could mean like what you call, you know, first signs of like knowing about, that they, if something's going to change or something's like what you call, you know, represents like maybe a certain line or a certain design or something like that, you know, for that particular color, you know, for the rotation, of course, you see how the shape it is, but between 3D and then a 2D or 4D or type dimensional it is, but uh, that I talk about right here, I talk to say if we would actually work the math, it is, I'm talking about right here, I know about it's like me, it's like with the reading glasses, it is a of uh, like, you know, Matthew's color is like talking about explaining about you know, it's like the means of say the colors and shapes and knowing about the work say of design. Well, hello everyone, and I talked to you about right here is talking about your know, Matthew's uh, color here is basically talking about is like you have right here is a you know, is a square it is it's like you have right here is you know it's like the type of shape it is and basically though that the with the shape that you have right here is like for the telecon square that. Uh, you have right here that I would hidden and colored in right here is like the pattern right here for the is like for a type of shape and and uh, I can tell anybody here whenever I was in you know in kindergarten I can remember uh, quite a few of the you know the shapes and colors and stuff like that but then knowing about you know, my experience of knowing about if I maybe wanted to build a you know a certain shape it is like build a a certain you know create a certain color and then build a certain shape it is in a way I think about I'm like you know that you know the good opportunity of knowing about like any you know PC uh, or your know, Mac related you know software products you know such as you know the Adobe you know it's like you know for the the Photoshop and of course you know like you know Illustrator it is and basically though that uh, knowing and learning about the basic uh, shapes right here of uh, knowing about right here is like you know, if it's like the the full kind of the you know, type shape or if it's uh you know anything related to the the, the the polyanka, if it's like what you call it, like the, the poly, polyanka triangle or something like that, is like to build a, you know, like create like what you call it, like a type of design that, you know, uses like a variety of colors and shapes just to form the type of shape it is. But, uh, but anyway, the whole part about that, I'm sure with most uh, anybody who uses, you know, any type of, uh, you know, programs, you know, such as Illustrator or Photoshop, you know, to be able to work the tools and then to save our assignments and stuff like that, a lot of us would probably think, that's pretty quite a bit complicated to the point where they're just going to go ahead and go to something that's a little bit more simpler. It is something a little bit more easier, just says like what you call, you know, you know it, it, that's a little bit easier to know and about you this, uh, you know, put a you know, reminder, you know, it's like you remind yourself, like a little reminder note of knowing about that, yeah, that uh, you're talking about like it's, it's not as easy as writing a date, huh? It's not as easy as putting a date down like Tuesday or Monday or something like that. But uh, on your hand too, that knowing about between between easy and hard it is of knowing about that that you'll know, get to like what you call it's like the fun part about it is like knowing about working with the select tools and then the direct select tools and and basically getting used to the program. though. and anybody that may think like with me though that you know if you come to the point where you don't like something it is maybe because it don't work the way that you want it to work it is but on your hand to knowing about it is you know to keep working on it it's like you know for you say to keep you safe for the passion though no, of knowing about you know for the artistic skills for you know, for what you're good at and that knowing about what this type of shape it is I'm talking about between the square and the right you know the rectangle and of course it's like with the with the circle it is and it, we may think that uh, that really gold is not really considered a color, but then on your hand too, if it contains like a, a, a variety of like what you call like between yellow and orange all combined all together, it is you know, just to perform like what you call like you know for that you know that gold dom right. But the other than that, like talking about right here, like with colors though, is like what do colors usually present? It is, and basically they could like present it's like the you know, type of work of knowing about if the, the light maybe had the light has changed or if like the design for what you're working on has changed and knowing about for what you were working on that knowing about between the lighter and darker you say elements it is you know stuff like that of knowing about you know presents you know for that that, that type of design of uh, knowing about you know for if you were to be drawing a shape that takes place maybe at night time or during the daytime, it is between day and night and on your hand too for the location, if it's in the mountains or something like that, or if it's in the city or anything like that. But uh, 
On your hand too, that I went ahead and drew this right here. It, that it, this uh, this uh, new shape right here is like say if it was a design of a house, it is, and a lot of us would probably think that you kind of give it a name. It's like you kind get of, get like you know, the the lip yeah you know, the you know, the lip going the square or if it's a the telecon or if it's a the the ver the verte uh, verte uh, you know the verte box or something like that. But um, but on your hand too that knowing about if we were to actually connect you say the lines and. And designs and then that loma between positive and negative it is of uh, knowing about it's like the, what the shape presents of knowing about it's like so far you know, this is you know the work that was done by you knowing about like well, why is it that most of the time and my favorite color was always blue a lot of times of knowing about you know the blue that it represents is like and that, that it could represent you know for for what I do or you know it represent the knowing about it's like for you for what I wear or anything like that. But uh, knowing about that, we may have a favorite part about the about you know, the work that we do. You know, based on like we say on Illustrator and Photoshop, it is of knowing about you know, the one that we may absolutely love of talking about that where we can maybe have the control for what we like to do. It's like so far as creating stuff on there. But uh, I am not like talking about you know for. For who did what, no one about if we did it or anything like that, or something that you know, we can that we can do. But other than that, I talk about here so far as Matthew's color. It is is talking about between the colors between between a red. It's like between red, green, and and blue or yellow you know, colors. It is of uh, talk about the whole color for what it presents. It is it could represent you know, a sign for this stands for this or this stands for that. But on the other hand, too, that knowing about they could also represent like you know for the top design and say the texture it is so far as the like, for the artwork but talk about it here you know, Matthew's color so you know I like, talk about the same with the color activity